Peace and love. My name is Erica Badu, also known as Badula Oblongata, also known as Sarah Bell, Manuela Maria Mexico, Annie the Alchemist, She Ill, Fat Belly Bella, Analog Girl in the Digital World, OK Player, and you're watching OK Africa. Today I am using this very clean Q tip with no one else's DNA to swab my jaw to find out where. Uh, my uh, roots are. I've, I've often thought about and wondered where my family's from. I've had several readings from shamans and um, different uh, priests in Africa, and different places. My mother is fourth generation Dallas. I'm fifth generation Dallas, Texas. Uh, my grandmother and her sisters and brothers also grew up there. Her mother and her mother was from Oklahoma. Uh, half Native American. You, we have a surprise here for you today. You're gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. You're gonna be so surprised to see what was discovered about you. The Bamilke area, which is also the grassland area of Cameroon. It's a vast land. The lineage of your mother came from that period. I found out that I am from a wonderful tribe in Africa, by Maleke people living in Cameroon, which means the grassy, the grass field people. One of the remarkable things about our culture, a child is a child to all mothers back home. And if you ever happen to run into any mother back home, that mom is going to treat you the same way like she would treat her own biological sister, daughter. They have one <clears throat> motif, and that is that it takes a village to raise a child. That's just an African tradition, African-American, period. That's just some of the things that uh, we practiced in our native land, we brought with us, and they just passed down from generation to generation. Welcome. Thank you. Very, very happy to have this crowd here. What is your name? Simon. Simon. Bijingsi. Bijingsi. That sounds Russian, but uh, it's Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> and also I learned that my tribe's people have a problem with being on time. Wait a minute, everybody be quiet, one minute. During the colonial days, mm -hmm. The British were very, we're talking about time. very good at time, timekeeping. I worked with them. During the colonial days, the British were, I'm from the English speaking part of Cameroon. Eight o'clock was eight o'clock. Five minutes late, you are in trouble. What about uh, grassy field people? The grassy field people, about time? Yes. No, I said they are poor at time. You say eight o'clock, you see people come out at nine, ten. <laughs> this yes. is wonderful. This is help from Africa. <laughs> Telling y'all to leave me the hell alone. <laughs> About time. The man just said time is for white people. I've said it in several interviews. Thank you. <laughs> That's the I, I see you when I see you. <laughs> I started uh, working on my new album, and I, I knew I was going to record it in Africa. And I remembered around the same time that I was getting my results back, too. So it all kind of works together. Now definitely I have to go to Cameroon, find some good dramas. All along the way, the ancestors led me to set up all these things so that it would work out, because uh, I think that uh, there's a, an important thing. I, I'm supposed to do next. The traditional dance of the juju performers is not really about style and technique at all. The dance of Africa is about the feeling and evoking the energies and spirits of, of the ancestors that love and protect us and want to see us do well. <laughs> Before me, 
Pretty much he called on God and thank him for bringing us all here this evening. And he said that we all have one culture and that God should continue to bless us and he should take everybody back home safely. Yes. Just to summarize it. Being able to single out uh, exactly where I walked, or where my ancestors walked, and what we smelled and what we heard or uh, what attracts us, the colors and the fabrics. These are the things that I vibrate toward naturally. You know, the frequencies of these things. And there's one call I do on stage. Lu -lu 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 -lu. This is, happens to be the, also the call of um, the tribe as well. Um, so some things are just in us. I, I have to realize I do so much alone in my career. Like uh, the Grammys, I'm getting ready, a song, I'm getting ready. But this is like something that uh, encompasses my whole family, like everyone on my mom's side. Right. So I'm going to go back home with this news to them. And it's, it's just going to be amazing. It's different. Like my path is now different. I never really uh, was so concerned about where I was from, you know, physically. It really didn't register as something I needed to do um, because I've, I'm satisfied with, you know, knowing, um, just the knowing that I'm a part of the all everything you know everything is matter everything and um, didn't understand why that really quite mattered until I went to the home of uh, the people the same people where I come from you know it's it's just another piece to help me become a better Erica in America Peace and light. My name is Erica Badu, AKA Me Bamaleke, um, AKA Cerebellum, AKA uh, Analog Girl in the Digital World, OK Player. And you're watching OK Africa. Peace.